Hit level one. Coming up, jog on spot. Ready, set, go. Staying light on your toes, on the ball of your feet, run on the spot, matching the pace of the model. Good, 10 seconds gone already. Use your arms. That's 15 seconds. Staying light on your toes, no pausing between. Good, 20 seconds. Begin to speed up. Good, heels shouldn't be touching the floor. Good, staying light on your feet, you're past halfway. Keep it going. Keep the abs tight, keep the posture nice and upright. 20 seconds to go. Speed up now. Coming up, we have the non-impact burpee. 15 seconds. Speed up now. Want to really push it for the last 10 seconds. Approaching 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Speed up. Come on. 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Coming up, non-impact burpee. Ready, set, go. Hands flat to the floor, step back one foot at a time, body into a plank, step back to the start position, reach up, stretch your arms into the sky. Good, stepping back. When you go into the plank position, make sure your stomach muscles are engaged. 15 seconds, no pausing in this exercise. Continual pace, stretching up to the sky when you stand up. 20 seconds already gone. Match the pace of the model, hands flat to the floor, stepping back, body straight, stepping up, standing up and reaching up. 30 seconds gone. Good. Keep the pace up. Abs nice and tight. Stretching up and reach up as high as you can. If you've got a bit more energy, when you stretch up, you can tiptoe. 20 seconds to go. Coming up, we've got elbow to knee. 15 seconds. Good. Speed up a bit more for me now. Speed up. Last 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Okay, elbow to knee, we're going one side first. Ready, set, go. Lift your elbow to your knee, meeting at the belly button, keeping your abs engaged and staying very light on your foot. 30 seconds one side, and then we're gonna switch sides. Keeping your abs engaged, elbow to the knee. Try to get them as close together as you can. Good, 20 seconds gone. We're going to switch sides in 10 seconds. Speed up a bit for me now. Abs nice and tight. Switch in three, two, one, and switch sides. Away we go. Abs nice and tight. Good. Keep the same pace. Bring your elbow to your knee. Try to make them touch. 20 seconds to go. Coming up, we've got the squat tiptoe. 15 seconds. Speed up for me now. We're approaching the last 10. Good. Abs tight. And 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep it going, you're doing well. Coming up, squat to tiptoe. Ready, set, go. Squatting all the way down and lifting up, raising onto your tiptoes. Squat down nice and low until your bottom is lower than your knees. As you squat down, Lift your arms up towards your head, and as you come up, stretch your arms down towards the floor. Good. Continual pace, there should be no pausing throughout the exercise, 20 seconds gone. Doing well. Tiptoe and reach all the way up, down nice and low. 30 seconds. Keep your belly button pulled in throughout the exercise. Good. Dropping all the way down, coming all the way up. Last 20 seconds. Doing well, speed up for me now. Coming up, we have star jumps. Good, squatting up to your tiptoes, stretching your arms down, lifting your arms up, 10, nine, eight, speed up, seven, six, five, push it, four, three, two, one. Great, we're past halfway, keep it going. Coming up, star jumps. Ready? Set, go. Good. Staying light on your feet. Jump with your feet close together until they go wide apart and your arms lifting by your side in coordination with the feet. Staying light on your toes.
continual motion. There should be no pausing throughout this exercise. 15 seconds already gone. You're doing well. Keep the abs engaged. 20 seconds. Start to speed up for me now. Remember, it's continual pace. No pausing, no stopping. Keep pushing it. 30 seconds gone. Good, you're doing well. Keep lifting your arms up. As we approach the last 20 seconds, speed up for me. That's 20 seconds, start to speed up now. Coming up, we have lunges. 15 seconds. Keep the pace up, staying light on your toes. Good, speed up for the last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, all you got, 3, 2, 1. Great work, let's go. Lunges. Ready, set, go. Stepping forwards, bending the back knee down, stepping back to the start. Arms down by the side, body very straight and upright, stomach muscles pulled inwards, making sure you're not leaning forwards as you lunge forwards. You want to keep nice, straight, upright posture. So shoulders back and down. That's 20 seconds gone. Bending the back knee close to the floor. Good, but do not hit contact. That's it. Alternate legs each time. Stretching out those quads. 30 seconds gone. Keep it going. Abs nice and tight. Shoulders back. Posture upright. Good. Nice and low with the knees. 20 seconds. Speed up. Touch for me now. Coming up, we have crossover crunch. So we're going to the ground. 15 seconds. Good. Speed up for me now. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Excellent. Keep pushing. Lie onto your back for the next exercise. Crossover crunch. Hands behind the head. Ready, set, go. With the hands behind the head, lift out, breathe up, and rotate your upper body towards one side, squeezing your abs and your obliques. 10 seconds already gone. Coming up, we have the crunch. 15 seconds. Breathe out, lift up. Crunch your stomach muscles. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Smashed it. Straight crunches coming up. Hands behind the head. Breathe out and lift up. Ready, set, go. Lifting up, breathing out, squeezing the abdominal muscles as much as you can. Good. 20 seconds to go. Good. Breathing out, lifting up, squeeze the muscles, lie back down very gently. Keep the pace up, continual, no pausing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Smashed it. Congratulations, you finished your seven minute morning workout. Happy hormones are active in your brain. It will enhance your motivation, uplift your mood, and improve your focus for the next 24 hours. You're hey, welcome to Combat Wing Chun. I'm Siku David. Today we're going to show you three basic Wing Chun exercises that you can do at home by yourself to get stronger, to get better Wing Chun techniques, and to be even stronger in whatever you do. So stay tuned, let's show it to you right now. Okay, so the first thing we do, and let's get into our A stance. From here, we're gonna do by top. Okay, so what am I looking at? You're looking at having your legs bent, and then having your back very, very open, tucking your tailbone, tucking your chin, shoulders relaxed, hands up like this. One is at your elbow position, one is out here. Elbows low, not completely extended, but slightly extended. Do not extend completely like this. Okay, so this is your bi-dong position. Toes are pointing in, and hands are on your center line. Okay, so from here, we're going to punch over, punch over, punch over, punch over. So that's the first drill. Chain punch drill. Facing the camera. From the side, just like this. 
Make sure you punch fist over fist. Don't punch under your fist. That's under, punch over your fist. Punch in this single place spot in the air. Don't punch two spots. Punch one spot in the air. That's a simple chain punch drill. Okay, now you can do it at this speed. Let's do it a little faster, double speed. Okay, now you have that. Now I want you to punch higher. Just like you guys taller. You punch up on the angle. So your shoulder, especially, you need to know how to punch higher like this. Punch back into the middle. Now punch the solar plexus. Just here. Back to the chin. Now punch up. The guy is seven foot tall. You need to reach up to punch his face. Okay, so that's the chain punch drill. We come back, we'll show you the next level of a chain punch drill. Welcome back. Now let's talk about a basic Wing Chun drill you can do to improve your footwork. So we start with our A stand. And now we're going to step one foot forward. Like this. One foot forward. One foot forward. Still, your toe is pointing slightly inwards. Okay? And the back foot, if you can, put it inwards also. But some people's ankles are not flexible enough, so you can pull, point outwards if you like. But most probably, the front one is pointing inwards. And the back one, try to move forwards as much as you, as you can. Okay? On the side, this way. Make sure your lower vertebrae are open, up in your chin, and get into this position again, lie on position. So similar to our A stance, but now we have one foot forward. Okay, so we can start with our left foot forward or our right foot forward. Okay, let's start with our any foot forward, and like this. This is our starting position. Okay, so now you have the start position, you can start the chain lunge drill. So now, whenever you're gonna punch, you can start with the hand in the back. You can step and punch. 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 Going this way. Step and punch. Step and punch. Okay, take tiny steps. You don't need to take big steps. Go back the other direction. If you're just going forward, you can just keep going forward without turning direction. Or even a small space, you can do what I'm doing. Turn back this way. Punch, 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 punch. The other way. Punch, 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 punch. The other way. Punch, punch, punch. punch. This way. Okay, so if I'm going straight towards the camera, one, two, three, four, turn, 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 one, two, three, four. Okay, so that is the chain punch drill with footwork. Very simple and very easy to do. And you can do it anywhere you want. You can do it in a small space, or if you're walking your dog, or just taking a stroll, you can just keep going forward. All right, so come back, and we can show you another technique, another Wing Chun exercise that you can do at home. Hey, welcome back. Here is the third Wing Chun training drill that you can use to improve your footwork and your punches. It's called the Staggered Footwork Chain Punch Drill. So let's start with the footwork, because it can get a little bit confusing, but once you get the hang of it, it'll be easy. So we're gonna take two steps forward. One, 
two. And then we're gonna change stances by moving this foot back. Okay, so now our front, uh, our right foot is in the front. Now I'm gonna take two steps forward. One, two, and then we're going to switch chances, switch stances, swing this foot back to the, to the back. Now this foot in front. And two forward, and then back. Two forward, and then back. So you notice when I move back, my front foot snaps back into a position to point inwards. So one, two, when I pull back, boom, my front foot snaps back forward. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So let's just practice that footwork. So slowly, one, two, Pull back, three, one, two, 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 three. Okay, so now that you get the footwork, let's come back in the next section, show you how to combine it with your attacks, with the hands. Okay, now we're going to combine it with the hand attacks. So we go one, two, and as you pull back, once you get into this, the three, three, you're gonna punch again, okay? So now you have the lead hand punching. You go one, two, pull back, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And so on. Side, so like this. So this way. Okay, so this exercise, something perfect to do in a very small space because you're moving two steps forward, one step back, and then you know, you should, you're gonna need a lot of move to do this exercise. It'll help you coordinate your punches, your power, switching leads, and your footwork. So those are three exercises. Train hard, train safe, and we'll see you soon in the next lessons. So those are three basic Wing Chun exercises and workout routine that you can do at home. You don't even need a lot of space and you can do this anywhere you want. All right, so if you like this video, you wanna see more of these training exercises, make sure you can comment, like, and subscribe to this channel. If you haven't already subscribed, click the subscribe button, click the bell to get instant notification and be the first to see all the new lessons that are coming out almost on a daily basis. And by the way, if you haven't entered the contest, make sure that you enter the contest to win one of my accelerated Wing Chun DVDs Every week, we announce a new winner. You can get this course, $129 value, shipped to your door. Okay, all you have to do is just to like, subscribe, and comment on this channel. So I'm Sifu David. I'll see you soon in the next lesson.